progress. Hi everyone, my name is Emma Jersey. I'm a marketing and business consultant and I'm here today just to explain to you how you could use ChatGPT in a very effective way when you are um, looking to gather together data, when you're looking to coordinate data and really, you know, I'm just going to share every week just different tips you can you can use in ChatGPT that will make you make your life easier basically and you can get your free marketing or business or financial services assistant literally by using ChatGPT. So in front of me you can see I've got a sales quote I as a marketing consultant I'm looking for a quotation or this is a quotation one of many for uh, pricing on cups and umbrellas and pens and so on and so forth and when you're looking for these sort of proposals you tend to get this really really long document this one is isn't actually too long but some of them could be up to 20 24 30 pages long depending on what you're looking for with different quantities different types of products and so on and so forth and when you're making the buying decision it can become challenging to differentiate uh pricing and quantities and so on and with that in mind oftentimes it's easier to put the data or the information into an excel file so that you can clearly look and compare between the pictures, but also the data as to, okay, well, if I buy 50 of this particular one, it'll cost X amount and so on and so forth. So if I scroll down through here, you can see very quickly all the different um products and the different prices. And again, I'm going to have a meeting about these and, you know, how can I make this information easily accessible and that my clients or whomever will be able to access very, very easily. So what I do is I go to ChatGPT, I open it, now, I did this earlier, so I'm just hoping it doesn't glitch. Sometimes ChatGPT can be glitchy. Um, so I'm in ChatGPT 4, and here it is. It's open. I already got an account. If you haven't got an account, you've got to sign up. And I go to the top left hand corner, and this is, you know, the little pencil mark, and I click new chat. It's open down here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to upload. So you can upload from Google Drive, from OneDrive, or from your computer. I'm going to upload that particular PDF file. And what I'm trying to do is save myself the hassle, if you will, of um having to extract newly. And I'm hoping it's done it for me earlier. So hopefully it'll do it for me again. And I'm just looking for the PDF file. So here we have a sales quote. I'll upload, upload it. Um, and a little bit like the cooking programs, I have created the prompt. And when I say the prompt, I have to ask GPT, chat GPT, do something for me. So, oh, of course, it's not going to do it for me. So basically, I'll have to rewrite it. Uh, can you please do, you need to do caps? Can you use, being very plush, um, extract the data from this PDF? I need uh, a list of product quantity and price. For each product, can oops, you put it in an Excel file, please? Just see what it comes back with. Just hit return. It's going to take a couple of seconds to do that. Um, and so we'll just wait for it to extract it. Hopefully, it'll do exactly what I want. And essentially what I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm not going to spend an hour and a half extracting all this information on, you know, kind of what's a simple admin task and get um, ChatGPT to do it for me. Um, and that should help me. It should help your office and it can allow you the time then to focus on other more strategic elements um, in your work or organization. So I'm just going to click into just download that. We'll see what it comes back with. Just bear with me. I have a lot of things open, as you can see. And um, OK, so here we go. So it's extracted all of the information that we saw. And I just make it easier for us. So it's got the product, it's got the quantity, and it's got the price, and then the total price. Um, and that's really helpful. So I can clearly look and see, OK, well, which pen do I want, which uh, cup, and so on and so forth. And it just makes it easier. Now, you can do this for bank statements you can use it for financial records you can do it for any amount of information where you have um a product or a service whatever it might be and you've got data and you want to analyze it and you want to have it in a format that's easy to read you could upload this into um 
you can change this into an image you you can um, put it into words there's so many different things you can do with ChatGPT. this is just one aspect that i have found super helpful i hope you have too if you have any questions just ask um i'm running training for different um organizations and so if this is something you'd like to do please let me know and i could organize something for you um in any case i hope this helps and let me know if it has or if you want to know any more please let me know i would be happy to help